what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so today we got our new teaser that we all have been hoping for speculating about at or the new teaser in regards to halloween kills at this first ever blum fest that blumhouse kind of announced at the very last minute earlier this week it took place earlier today uh called blum fest around 1 p.m eastern and they talked about a lot of upcoming blumhouse projects shared some new tidbits on a lot of things one one franchise in particular that we finally got an update on in regards to the next direction it'll be going is insidious and got a lot of new bits about that and now we got also got a teaser for halloween kills to round it out now we've all been speculating that we could be getting something from the blumhouse team universal david gordon green danny mcbride we've been speculating that they'll give us something due to the fact that it's halloween and they know that us fans should have been in theaters this this fall looking at halloween kills in this new teaser which i absolutely thought was oh i thought it was amazing honestly i thought it was great uh it showed again very short 30 seconds or so not showing too much like very quick snippets of things we see that michael myers is walking towards his mask in one shot we see that he's going to pick his mask up because it's in the ground for whatever reason. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Michael Myers in the last film was in Laurie Strode's basement. So how exactly we'll get to see him picking up this mask and how the mask ended up off of him and in the road. That'll be exciting to see because it looks like somebody's going to demask him. And also, as you guys saw in the trailer, in the teaser, rather, his mask is actually a little slightly burnt. It has like a little burnt tint to it. Uh, so we will be getting our our questions have finally been answered regarding whether or not we'll get a burnt mask for halloween kills and yes the events of halloween 2018 will not just be completely ignored he won't be he won't be this supernatural mythical god that everyone keeps going in on about because uh, if the mask wasn't burnt and they keep on pushing this oh it's super he's not supernatural narrative anymore it's a little hard to believe that when now he's walking around not only is he still alive but his mask wasn't burnt so i'm glad his mask has some type of burnt tint to it uh clearly showing the effects and the damage from the end of the 2018 film in that fight with laurie and karen and um allison and we have this shot here of tommy doyle we know it's not being played by paul rudd anthony michael hall's replacing him and playing tommy doyle in this new adaptation not adaptation but this new timeline rather this sequel this third entry in this new timeline and we see he carrying his, carrying that baseball bat and as you saw behind him it looks like marion Chamber, chambers was there we saw basically all the returning characters besides sheriff bracket were featured in this teaser we didn't see lonnie um here's another shot of michael myers in that burnt mask all i can think about with this shot is buster rhymes and all of those cheesy lines that he delivered those those awful insults they they weren't necessarily awful just out of place insults he delivered to michael myers at the end of halloween resurrection and all throughout the film honestly and here we have a shot of laurie strode uh presumably at haddonfield memorial because we also get like little other shots of haddonfield memorial we see like an audience outside of the hospital looks like we see allison running away from michael myers presumably chasing her not sure that was really allison i believe it was either allison or um little lindsey wallace from the original film being chased by michael myers we see a black woman who's looking a bit scared uh i'm assuming this is probably a relative of julian that's who i'm just going to come to the conclusion of that who that black woman was in the trailer but very exciting stuff a lot of a lot of exciting tidbits that we got from the teaser so i can't wait to see how this all plays out on screen can't wait to see what happens in the film uh, can't wait to see what exactly goes down in Halloween Kills because like I mentioned earlier we saw that shot of Laurie Stroh standing upright in Haddonfield Memorial at the hospital so it's safe to assume that she won't have as much of a back seat as we as we initially thought we know that they've come out and stated that she won't be the main character but we know she's still gonna have some type of role in the narrative at some point we it's clear that this film and has been made mention of by in the past by everyone other people involved with the project this film is going to be focusing on the survivors of the other survivors of the 1978 event and dealing with their trauma and how this isn't only just Lori who's been holding holding in a lot of frustration over the past 40 years uh we know lonnie's coming back we're going to get an encounter with him back in 1978 he met michael myers apparently and we never knew about that of course 
We're going to have Tommy Doyle coming back and get to hear about his trauma. We get to see how they're, they're living. We get to see Marion Chambers back. We get to see little Lindsay Wallace back, played by Kyle Richards. We're going to get to catch up with all these characters and see and learn about this trauma that they've had over the past 40 years, not just Lori Strode. But as you saw, she was standing up right in the hospital. So at some point, she's going to have a she's going to have a crucial role either in the either in the center or the end. And I think it's going to come later on towards the end, because honestly, me personally, just my own opinion, I don't think Karen Strode is going to make it out of this film alive. I don't think Karen Strode will live. I think Karen Strode will be one of the people who gets killed off. Uh, we have this image here of just had a film memorial when they were filming those scenes of Lori being being carted in because the last time we saw just backing up what they told us that how she won't be the main character and everything we've seen that made evident or we thought it was made evident by the fact that we have this image images like this of course where she's just laying in the hospital bed or not laying in the hospital bed but on the stretcher on the gurney covered in blood presumably of course yes being taken in to the emergency room so she can have her wounds tended to so it was like pretty much a no-brainer that yeah she she's taking a back seat and she'll be resting in this film but then we got this new season today and she's standing up right so can't wait to see how that all how, how that all plays in and what role she'll play when she does become a factor when she get back gets back on her feet can't wait to see this mob mentality that I feel we still are going to get from this film with those returning characters. Can't wait to hear uh, John Carpenter's new rendition or his new score that he has composed for the project. A lot of things I can't wait for. Can't wait to see how Allison deals with all this because we know this film seems like it'll be dealing a lot more with how Allison is going to respond to what happened in the 2018 film. And now also we got some shots of Karen looking like I won't say fierce, but looking like she's pretty serious we got a few shots of karen looking a bit serious almost as if we're finally gonna get to see all these things that she was doubting because she was always doubting her mother calling her mother crazy you know the john the john tate route from halloween h2o mom you don't know what you're talking about michael myers is this he's he's dead he's gone you know he's locked up he's not coming after you you're crazy i didn't need to be raised like that well, it's, it looks like you did, sis, because <laughs> Michael Myers is going to be after her. And she's finally going to get to use all those things she was taught as a child um, in her life for once and have some appreciation for what her mother taught her growing up and not consider her a complete loon or a complete looney tune. So pretty exciting stuff we got from that trailer, that short little teaser snippet they gave us um can't wait to see how this all ends up being displayed on screen again big question mark for me is how is michael myers mask ending up in the street that's the biggest question mark i took away how did his mask end up in the street but i know the answer to that if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video